All right, this is the Honors Purple Book, Chapter 3, Lesson 2. I'm doing the Guided Practice off page 184. This lesson is about slope, which is another name for constant rate of change, which we've talked about. Uh, I a lot of times call it the helicopter, the difference of Y over difference of X, all of that stuff that we've worked on before. Um, it's asking for, on number one, it has a picture of a little storage shed, and asks for the slope of the storage shed's roof. And you see that between here and here, it's gone down three and then right 15. So let me write that in the difference of y. Well, the difference of y is the rise, so that would be down three, right 15. Now we simplify that, simplify that, that's going to be negative one fifth. There's your slope. And honestly, in the real world, one fifth is also the slope if you're going up this or down this. We're used to doing a coordinate plane, so I'm going to be talking about going downhill since we're reading from left to right. But I would accept either one of those answers in a real world solution. Okay? All right, second one. Find the slope if you have a graph. Well, to find the slope in a graph, take any two points that you know are on that line and count the rise and the run. So once again, I'm counting with a helicopter. From this point to this point, it went up one, two, three, four. Up is positive, so I would write that as positive four. Then it went right, one, two, three. Up four, right three. And there's the stair step of up four, right three, going in a helicopter motion up and then over. Okay? So there's your slope, y equals four thirds x. And of course it's not proportional because it doesn't hit exactly zero, zero. So there would be a boyfriend on the back. All right? We should be able to do that even if we have a table, once again. This is where, I, to find the slope, I need difference of y over difference of x. So let me check it a couple of times. Difference of y, when I subtract these, I get 2. Subtract these, I get 1. 2 divided by 1 is 2. Let me just check it again. This time it goes up by 2. It goes up by 1. 2 divided by 1 is 2. It goes up 2, goes up 1. It goes up 2 divided by 1, which is 2. And so 2 is your slope. What does that really mean? It means it's going up to right one. There's your stair step like we dealt with right over here. The stair step for this one would be up to right one. So the graph would look somewhat like that placed on a coordinate plane. And eventually we'll even be able to put that on a coordinate plane and know exactly where all those points are, where it hits the y-axis and things like that. All right, so the next one. Find the slope if you have two points. Well, if you have two points, once again, we always go back to this. Difference of y over difference of x. So make sure you go in the right order. So it doesn't matter whether you go from this point to this point or this point to this point, but you have to stay consistent. So I'm going to choose this way. I'm going to go this way. 4 minus negative 2. Now be careful. Do your integer rules. 4 plus positive 2 is 6. 5 minus negative 3. Well, 5 minus negative 3 is 8. Simplify that. Your stair step is up 3 right four. So if we go back to that stair step idea, that'd be going up three, right four. It would look something like that when you graphed it, up three, right four. Okay. Next one, same thing. Once again, I'll show it doesn't matter. I can subtract the other way. I just need to stay consistent. So five minus negative three. Notice I'm doing the y's first. Five minus negative three is five plus positive three, which is eight. Negative six minus three. Negative six minus three, leave change opposite, is negative six plus negative three, negative nine. So I get eight over negative nine. Well, if you've been in my class very long, you know that I tend to write my negatives on the top. So I'll probably write this one, but this is exactly the same. In fact, sometimes people just write the negative outright in front of it. As long as you have one negative in the problem, that's a negative fraction. So whether you're looking at this as the stair step of up eight, left nine, or whether you're looking at it as down eight, right nine, it's going to be the exact same movement. It'll look something like that when you graph it, okay? Um, and then number six says, in any linear relationship, so when they say it's linear, what does that tell you? It tells you it has a constant rate of change. If you graph it, it will be a straight line. Okay? In any linear relationship, explain why the slope is always the same. Why is the slope always the same? Well, isn't slope the same thing as constant rate of change? So if it has a constant rate of change, the stair step 
will always be the same. So if I'm graphing and I went up to right five, then guess what? I'm going to go up to right five, and I'm going to continue to go up to right five because that stair step has to be the same over and over again. The stair step is the slope, right? The rise over the run, the rise over the run, the rise over the run, the constant rate of change, the difference of y over the difference of x.